Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, let's quickly understand how you are going to handle radio buttons in Cypress. Okay, so we have understood that check is the method that we'll be using to handle check boxes and radio buttons both and radio button handling is exactly similar to what we have done for the check boxes. So you can basically if say for example, you have to click on a particular radio button, you identify a locator for that particular locator uh, for that radio button and then click on it dot click right then you say cy dot get the locator dot click then if you want to click on a radio button with a particular option okay or a particular value right so, so for example the value or values so if the radio button has a value attribute and a value associated with it you can specify those values and we'll understand that in a moment similarly if i have to click on multiple radio buttons then I can pass multiple values okay in a array comma separated then there are different options that you can use to override the functionality the default functionality of check right so for example there is a, a checkbox that is not visible but you want to but it's there in the DOM and you want to interact with it so you can specify those options along with the just options or along with the value and values right so this is the crux of check function and you can use it any place in the checkboxes or radio button okay so if we talk about the options you will see in the list below these are the different options for example i want to force click so i'll say force is equal to true right i want to scroll to that particular element i'll use the scroll behavior okay and then time out i can override the time okay so let's quickly understand how we are going to handle the radio buttons okay so last video we have understood about the checkboxes i'll simply go ahead and copy the same file and paste it here in e2e and i will simply say this is radio button demo okay so radio button demo dot cy dot js so i'll be working on the same page okay so that makes this a little easier so what we'll do is now we are interacting with the radio button so i'll simply open let me remove these two lines here okay the first two lines will remain because i'm opening the report so first one is launching the report okay which is cy dot visit which is opening that particular web portal then this one is getting the report link and clicking on it okay so now we are interacting with the so from third one we were working with the checkboxes now we are working with the radio button okay so i'll remove these two statements so now if i go to the app here all right go back that radio button file should be available here so we have this e to e in the spec radio button demo i'll simply click on it and it should open that particular report page all right now once it opens the report page then i can go ahead and interact with any of the radio buttons that are there right so you'll see paper size orientation i can select different radio buttons for those so say for example paper size i want to select letter and orientation i want to select landscape okay so i'll simply right click and inspect so if i have to click on a letter or landscape i can first option is the most simplest option is to simply identify a particular locator using css selector right a particular element using css selector so i simply identify it okay so let's say for example i want to click on this radio button so this is what the code behind it is and i'll simply say copy and then copy select okay i'll say Control f and paste it and you will see that again we have the issue that this id could be dynamic okay not necessarily but in case if it is dynamic the next time your script is going to fail so in that particular case what we'll do is we'll simply quickly open selectors hub and again by default i think it's deselected i don't know why um, this is not so by default it should not show me any of the locators with the id okay but it is still showing click on it again okay anyways this has the value attribute right so this will be easier in case we want to you know write even our own locator okay so for example i want to write uh or or simply what i'll do is i'll simply use the first example because with the value as well i can go ahead and click okay so let me quickly go ahead and click based on the value attribute so in the documentation you will see that if i go above here so again we can use the type right so the type of these radio button is what it is radio okay so any radio button will have a type radio and then based on the value i can say click on the radio button that has a value letter so it should click on it 
click on the radio button that has the value landscape okay so this makes our life a lot easier so i can simply say okay click get the type and then click on so we'll say okay cy dot get and then specify the locator there which is radio okay and then we'll say dot check okay and check what so check which has a particular value right or you can see that we have different options here so we can simply say check a check a particular radio button or check the first radio button right so i can say dot first dot check okay so on this page whichever will be the first radio button will get checked okay so by default i think this is the first one so this is already checked so what we'll do is we'll do based on the value okay so i can pass the values if you see here i can pass a value in the check as well so we know the value of the radio button is letter that we want to click on okay so i'll simply say letter in the check in here uh, check here so i'll say okay click on a radio button which has the value letter all right simply save it let's go back and it should click on the letter radio button now and you can see letter has been clicked on okay now if i want to click on multiple radio button so i can say comma separated okay so i'll simply say okay in an array here so i can simply say in the square brackets and then letter as well as i want to click on something else so landscape right so let me i think it is a landscape uh, but let's quickly go ahead and make sure that it's actually landscape exact value that we want to click on so i'll identify and you'll see the value is landscape all right so i'll simply copy that and i want to click on both this time okay so comma separated and should be string in here and save it and this time it should actually click on both the radio buttons which have that particular value so it has opened the page and you will see both the radio buttons have been clicked right now if say for example i want to click on all the radio buttons that are there right so i think there is an option within the documentation so you will see that uh, dot first dot check if i don't pass any options right like the way it was in the no argument so check all ch check boxes or select all radio buttons right so in this particular case it will select all the radio buttons if i don't put any option okay so let's try to use it all right let's see whether it works or not this is more of a learning so we just explore and see what all issues you might encounter so the first statement will select both the the check uh, both the radio buttons that we have specified by based on the value and it should select all okay you'll see so basically it has you, you you could see that it was checking all of those one by one right so it, the last statement here did work and it selected and finally you could see that yes this these are the radio buttons that are select all right no errors now the next thing is if say for example based on exact element id or locator right which is very basic thing which we did in the checkbox scenario as well so in that particular case i can go ahead and write a locator say for example i want to click on landscape i'll write a specific locator to locate this particular web element okay as of now i'll simply go ahead and uh, not here sorry let me go back here and let me just copy okay just copy the locator based on this id if it doesn't work then we know that the id is or let me go back to a41 okay because this gets selected in the previous step so let's copy this one and i'll copy this selector and let's try to so here i'll provide the locator of a particular radio button that i want to click and then i can say simply i mean i can also say dot click all right so here you will see in the documentation i can usually they recommend using check okay but i can also say dot click it will still work all right for example in this case i'll use check and then say for example next step i will click on this portrait okay so in that case i'll use click because click is click on a particular element so that should work as well it doesn't matter whether it's a check box or a radio button we are end of the day we are clicking on there right so here i'll use let's see if it works or not so it will start executing i have saved the file it has opened the page should open the report and you can see yep and then finally it is on letter and landscape right okay so it has failed and i think why it has failed because this is not found and my initial uh, thought on the id that id is dynamic is correct right so id whatever id we have used 
it is dynamic and it changes and that is why it couldn't find that particular locator right but in case i'll use a locator which is a unique and works then this should be working perfectly fine okay so for example in this case if i go ahead and try to find out the locator let's try if i can quickly find the locator here yeah so this is the locator which is very very lengthy locator but that's fine let's try to use this one for this portrait one okay and see if it works and i'll disable just to showcase that actually with the locator as well you can go ahead and and you can see that portrait on the portrait it has clicked on successfully right so this one was using the click method all right the last one was using the click method similarly you can use the check as well it doesn't matter with the exact locator or with the type and then providing the option or the value details there uh, select multiple select single all of those options i have already covered in this particular video so it doesn't matter what type of checkbox or radio button you are going to handle you should be able to handle perfectly fine and this is pretty complex uh, portal if you're humble uh, if you're able to handle it here you should be able to handle in any real-time projects as well. okay this is not a dummy website this is a real crm web so that's all for this video thank you very much see you in the next lecture